Hey folks, welcome to Piney Traffic. And today's episode, no traffic whatsoever. No vehicle traffic for that matter. But, um... Just the, an episode of, um... Checking out a memorial in Sandy Hook, Connecticut. And I'm sure you're quite familiar with the minute you hear Sandy Hook, there's a, uh, you know, people who are going to remember where they, you know, if you didn't live here, you knew what Sandy Hook was. Well, let me just show you this. So December 14th, 2012, 21st graders and six educators were killed here in, in Sandy Hook by, you know, um, actually no name, again, is going to even be brought into this of who did it. This is just specifically showing this memorial and how beautiful this memorial is look at this look at this there's a beautiful tree right in the middle of this water feature you know for people to come here reflect pay their respects you know Um, it really is just absolutely mind-blowing to think. You know, murder is one thing that, could, I don't know, I like to think most people would never even think of doing. I kind of think in self-defense sometimes, I guess that would be a thing, you know, obviously. But just the intention of harming people. And then it, the Sandy Hook situation was even compounded even more with the fact that, you know, we were, we're talking about first graders. First graders, you know, and uh, it's like... Can't even wrap your mind around it. Um, it's it's things like this that for pe like it's memorials and you know, in a, in a way where people can find a positive or at least a point where they can reflect. Like I already said, on things. I commemorate the lives that were lost. Um, now, I'm glad this was put together. I'm glad this is here. Um, yeah, so... So, November 13th, 2023, this became a reality. And it, this is... This is uh, look how pretty this is. This is... Just very pretty. The sun setting here. Um, the actual park itself, I think, closes at sunset. I thought. I also think that by the time the winter gets here, it's. I think they close it until the springtime. Again, and I think so. I, I would guess say. So springtime to early fall maybe late spring early fall i know connecticut gets some gets some pretty heavy uh, winter time activity oh, this is so pretty yeah, i just wanted to, i was up in connecticut uh like as of right like right now as i'm filming obviously in connecticut and it's just something i absolutely wanted to see or wanted to just feel the just wanted to see it 
okay, and uh, I was actually glad this, you know, I was like, oh, there is a, there is a memorial, and it just got finished almost a year ago, and here it is, look at a pretty tree right in the middle, the school's gone, as it should be, I don't even know where I feel the I feel like the new school is its own school. It's not even in the footprint of the former school, right? Um, and yeah, it's just it's just it's just mind blowing, but. To see the beauty of this, this is absolutely well done. Absolutely well done. So I have a grandchild, you know, she's not, she's, she's, you know, she's not even, she's going to be one soon, let's just say that. I, you didn't even, did you, did you even, he did not need a grandchild. He just, he did not need anything to put you in the mind of the magnitude of what happened in Sandy Hook, what happened at the school. Um, and to me, the energy has to be towards Remembering them kids, you know what I mean? Remembering them educators. I know an educator myself. You know, it's something that they're all thinking about. Like, where are we going moving forward? That this is, the, this is the big event in a psychotic person's life. That it could end at a school. Like, man, come on. I mean, if you have educators and young kids in your family, see what the heck, this is what we're doing. We need to go to school and learn how to, this is where we're going to go if shooting starts. So I feel blessed because that's not something we had, that we did. It's not something we did when I was in school. And I and believe me, I feel fortunate about that. Why? Why all of a sudden is that the case? It isn't just the case now. This has been going on for a long, long time. The internet has made everything easier access now to see and hear about. I remember uh, reading when the Columbine school got shot up. The Columbine disaster was really a copycat and they were copycat it's like it just was it's been going on for a long time the fact that we have the news 24 7 and and you know on the internet and just knowing everything that's going on it's 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 we're not gonna miss anything had this happened in the 80s Everyone would have known about it anyway because of the magnitude of it. First graders and six educators. I just wanted to make sure that, uh, I, I don't know, I, always, I was like, oh, there's a memorial. I want to go see it. And look at it. It's, 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 it's absolutely, this whole area is beautiful. Absolutely. out on with this video um, I just wanted I wanted my audience to see this I wanted to see to see this memorial some people are clear across you know they're going to be eventually clear across the country or people that watch YouTube they're all over the world so like you know this is what Sandy Hook has done this is the memorial 
for the children that were lost, the NES, and again, the six educators as well. This is where, this is it. This is where you would come to reflect, heck, you reflect at home. But this is pretty, very pretty. Um, as we continue on to find the ways to end this craziness. One, one school just got, there was a shooting, a major shooting at a school that was um, an hour from where we currently live. And it's like, well, if we get, we get rid of guns, you know, obviously the um, background checks is, is a massive thing. The reality of it is, is that people are so compromised. Everyone of all ages, young and old, compromised, morally, and valueless. There's just an absolute, and I'm not a Bible, I'm not one of them people like that. I'm saying just been absolutely compromised with where minds end up going. We have adults out there that can't parent and shouldn't be having kids for that matter because they're not doing they're not doing it well. They're not doing it well at all. You know what I mean? Just many things. So like okay, even if you had gun control, when you have that type of psychosis going on, they're going to find something. They're going to find somebody's gun or they're going to find something period to do the destruction that they do. So it's it's almost at a point like do we know our kids do we know what the heck is going on with them do we know what they're doing i mean for real like and it's and it's complex and and as complicated as that may be to try to figure that part of life out trying to know who your who your kids are what they're doing you know even to know to try to know that but that's that's kind of that's kind of what we need to do, and that's the core of this whole thing, in my opinion. Okay, that's the core of this. Yes, there's there's there needs obviously need to be some kind of a, like some understanding with background check. But how are these kids getting these guns? Even if, like, you know, that part about it, and that's that's the that's the core of the problem. That's the core of the problem. How do we know? You know, how do we know them? You know, seriously. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's take one more look at this. recent school shootings that like I was referring to the one in Georgia um, I think there's more flags at home than at school but then when the flag goes up at school as a parent how do you react to that and one of them is is managing stress managing <laughs> managing bullying how you handle it, you know, and, and instead of spiraling down and spiraling and spiraling till you literally don't care if you, oh, I don't know, kill a bunch of first graders for whatever reason. It's that managing of stress with young people. Old people trying to figure that stuff out, but that's one of the things. One of the, it's one of the many things. But if there's flags going up at school. Those flags went up at home. They, they were probably ignored, and then we're giving guns to these kids that have flags. And when I say we, I'm not. I'm saying a parent. In that situation, a parent gave the kid a gun as a gift of some sort 
Okay. Yeah, no good. Wrong answer. So there's so many levels to it. And taking ownership at home is, is front and center with that. So, yeah, okay, there goes my moment of clarity. I don't know. I don't even see. Uh, it is what it is. All right, folks. Well, this is, again, this the memorial itself is actually adjacent to the new school saying they built that new school and I may even see that I don't even know if that's really relevant to shoot the school itself to shoot a video of the school itself but it is adjacent to this memorial and this is absolutely this is so pretty so give your kids a hug and a kiss tonight not that you weren't to anyway but do that um, I want you to thank you for watching have a great rest of your day and a pleasant tomorrow, and I'll see you in the next episode. So the new school is actually off in the distance in this direction. I didn't want to show you that. Through the woods in that direction there. I see some of the windows right there. I did want to show you um, this um, like a monument here.